Hey, what is going on everybody and welcome to Fantasia for today. We're going to be jumping into another session of Epic 7. Now today, got some more RTA for you guys and we're going to jump in and as you can see on the screen we have Ning Ning fully geared. Hopefully we get to use her today. I've been testing her out and she's actually not that bad. People make her out to be this completely worse DJ Bassar. I feel like she has her own little niche and she could be pretty good. Now I'm not trying to oversell her to you guys as if she's a must pull and she's a must build meta changing unit. But if you like her as a character, if you like her um, as a K-pop idol, uh, in real life, then, you know, there's there's some merit to her kit. It's not horrible. Alright, let's see here. My opponents are banning a lot of, uh, a lot of very bulky things. So yeah, that's fine. Let's go ahead and, uh, I'm gonna first pick Aeroz. I know, it's been a while since we first picked Aeroz. Let's go ahead and uh, slam him down, though, and see what my opponent goes for. Aiden is getting picked out, which I guess is not too bad. We can probably deal with Aiden. Uh, Zeo getting picked out is actually not what I am looking forward to fighting. Okay, Zeo is actually a little bit of a problem because if I want to go down the route of being able to pick Ning Ning, uh, Zeo can't exist. Now, what can exist is Sage Ball actually. Sage Ball seems pretty good into this, uh, this type of team here. But do we pick him now? I don't know. I don't think so. Perhaps we go for somebody that can buff and heal a little bit. Do we go for... do we go for DN? I don't think so. There's too many things that counter DN, right? What's a good neutral pick in this situation? Ah, oh, man, it's, it's tough, isn't it? Here, let's go... let's just go DJB, and then let's pick a DPS, right? Let's pick Spectre Tenebria. Let's go for this. It's an early pick Spectre, but Spectre's pretty decent here into into the Zeo Aiden. Ooh, Straze. Okay. Straze being picked out is it's a good thing I went for DJB and Aroz. It's a more aggressive team, right? And he's going for a lot of openers here. So it's a little worrying. Um Flitica, Straze. I mean That's okay, right? I feel like we're okay here. This might not be a Ning Ning game, uh, there's nothing really here for me to punish in terms of barriers. So I guess it's good that I went DJB. We could go for a... Sage Ball is definitely strong here, right? We definitely go Sage Ball. And who else would be pretty good here? Would BBK be good? Ooh. Maybe not, maybe not, maybe not BBK. Is Ed good here? Perhaps. Ed might be okay. Right, let's go for... Is Ed okay? Let's just slam Ed, right? Let's see what happens. I guess Senyo would have also been alright. Senyo could have been okay here too. Uh, I'm picking Ed because I'm not banning Flitica. Uh, if I let Zeo through, which I might, um, he can't hit Ed as a target, right? DJB is high resist. He can hit Aroz, but going after he can't go after Spectre because she's stealth. So I think this is alright. Uh, who do I ban? I think I ban the Straze. He's banning Sage Ball for sure, right? If he bans Sage Ball, we can go for Straze. I think we're gonna get punished for this Ed pick, but Tomoka's a single target unit, right? So let's go for the Straze ban. No one else is single, no one else is AoE, right? So Spectre, yeah, we'll go for this. Yeah, there we go. Spectre is gonna be pretty safe here, and let's go ahead and do something of like this, right? Protect the, protect the Ed from incoming high burst damage with the Aeroz. Okay, so we'll see who Zeo goes for. He's not going to go for Ed. Um, he can't go for Ed. He's going to silence him, and then we're going to counter here. So he goes for DJB, maybe. Okay, oh, okay. That's a pretty good chunk of damage there. He might be able to finish off DJB with this Tomoka. Or anyone that comes after this Tomoka. <laughs> 
All right. Let's see here. Now, the, the surprising thing is that he was actually able to push back DJB. Mine has 200-something uh, effect resist, right? So he's very, very uh, tanky. Okay, Flitico is able to strip the Ed. Uh, Aiden gets pushed up. Aiden can nuke somebody here. She's gonna go for the... A oh, going for the a Roz. Interesting. That's not what I expected. Alright, and it does not kill, thankfully. So now Flitica gets to go. She's gonna reset the Ed, which I don't really care about. Oh, that's a damage Flitica, though. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Alright. Uh, yeah, so the unfor- Ooh, the unfortunate thing is... Aiden gets to free counter now, right? No, no, actually, I can hit the Zeo. Alright, I can hit the Zeo, actually. Hang on. We're gonna big brain this, right? I'm going to hit the Zeo, okay, to heal a little bit, and now I'm gonna hope that the Zeo, he's gonna kill the Ed, right? Yeah, he's gonna kill the Ed here, which is unfortunate. Yeah, I don't think I can win this, definitely not. Uh, we have to go for something like this, though. It's like my only play, right? The only play that I really have is to just slam this into the Aiden. Yeah, let's just slam it into the Aiden. I mean, it's 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 an all or nothing, right? And I think we're gonna lose regardless. Oh no, here we go! Miracle little hit there. Okay. Uh, do I do I push up the team? Do I blind here? Maybe I blind, right? Maybe I just blind everybody. Okay, or just blind Flitica. <laughs> or just blind Flitica. Um, yeah, Tomoka can finish off the DJ. Oh, shoot. That actually mattered there. Not that it really mattered over on the end, but if Flitica didn't dual attack, then the second attack of Tomoka would have gone into DJB, and it wouldn't have hit the Flitica, we might, or hit the Stene. Might have had a chance, but I think the Zeo, the Zeo's damage was okay. It wasn't really high. I think that was an effectiveness Zeo. Um, that's why he was able to push back my DJB. 250 resist. Unless I'm missing something. I don't think I am. I don't think Zeo ignores effect resist. Right? Pretty sure. Because I've been 15%ed before on Zeo. So, uh, let's go ahead and ban these two. Yeah, that was, hmm. That was a very aggressive team, and I wasn't, I didn't really draft all too well into that, but we'll, we'll hopefully remedy things here. I like playing against more standard players, so. Oh, there we go. Arwell getting picked. That's what I like to see. Uh, let us go for a pick on. I kind of like going A-Roz here. Going A-Roz into this might not be the worst play. Yeah, it allows me to keep up the tempo and aggression, right? So let's go for A-Roz. And do I go for DJB here? I know I want to go for Ningning, -Ning, but do I want to go for DJB as well? DJB with Ningning -Ning seems pretty decent, actually. Yeah, let's go DJB, and we'll uh, we'll adapt our DPS picks to what my opponent goes for. We're gonna need two hyper carries if we want to go Ningning, -Ning, right? Because we're gonna be bringing three supports and two DPS. If one gets banned, then we have to have a really strong hyper carry DPS here. Destina getting picked, okay, and Stene as well. Stene picked Bellion's banned. This might actually be pretty good for my opponent. I don't know what I could pick that's uh, consistent AoE damage into this guy. Huh. Yeah, that's gonna be pretty rough. Ooh, Landy, Landy seems good here, but I don't know if I can pull that off. Um, my opponent could always go... Carrot or another fire unit of some sort. Right, Fire Charlotte. But I think I don't have a choice. I think we go Landy. And who's another good, just overall DPS into Stene? I don't know. I'm probably going to have to go towards something like SSB. Do we go something like Seaside Bologna? Maybe. Let's just go SSB, right? My SSB is on injury. It might actually help into this tanky kind of comp. People don't really pick SSB very often now, so let's see if he has the Rowana to counter me. 
Or maybe he has some big brain plays here that he can go for, Lionheart, Sermia, and the like. I just can't pick Lionheart into this, right? He doesn't really have any dual attacks or stuff, unless he gets super lucky and 3%s me. Or I guess if I get super lucky and he 3%s me, right? Uh, he'd be unlucky to get that. Alright, Lionheart coming out, that's fine, because I'm not banning the first three here. I think we can fight those. But with Lionheart, I might have to ban the Lionheart. Arc Demon coming out. Arc Demon's a little scary, though, I gotta say. Arc Demon is pretty scary. Do I go for a Ning Ning here? Uh, maybe. No, but then Arwell, I mean, she doesn't really have a barrier. Not much that I can really work off of. Do they have buffs on their team? Uh, not really. Do I just go for it? Probably, right? Let's just go for it. Why not? Let's just pick her and see what happens. Uh, I'm gonna ban the Lionheart, because I don't want... He's probably letting SSB through, right? And he's gonna try to seal the SSB. So if he seals the... If he bans DJB, I'm kind of screwed in this... Oh, wait, no. If he bans Landy... He needs some way to... No. Is he gonna ban Landy or DJB? Okay, there we go. He's gonna ban DJB, because that's the only way that... Um, he can really get this to work in his favor. I think I protect the SSB in the back, right? Ning Ning can just be here. Landy gets the extra health from SSB, and so does Aroz. Yeah, because Arc Demon is gonna seal the SSB. That's his main goal, right? That's his main goal. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is go for the Barium version and the Strip. Okay, well, let's go for it. I can get extra combat readiness anyway. All right, there we go, very nice. And I think what I'll do is I'll push back the Arc Demon. It's a little counterintuitive, right? You're like, why, why are you trying to get rid of buffs when you have Landy? But... Okay, there we go. Doing some pretty decent damage. No Guiding Light on the Landy! Uh-oh, I think we're in trouble now. Uh, do I go for the Immunity play? Maybe. Let's go for the Defense Break here. Oh, nice defense break. Very, very cool. Now, he gets to full strip and stun somebody. He might go for SSB. Yep, there we go. But that's okay, because Landy's gonna be going soon. Destina's probably gonna push up the... Uh, Destina's gonna push up this uh, Arc Demon, right? Okay. Oh, she's gonna just full heal the team. Okay. Then... SSB won't be unstunned, right? She can't cleanse. I don't have a cleanser on the team. Ning Ning is not a cleanser, despite being a soul weaver. He's gonna go ahead and hit the Landy with an S3. Not gonna kill, thankfully. I have a full burst. Uh, I'm gonna use it. Unfortunately, I really wanted to use Barry Inversion before this full burst kicked in. But it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to do that. Yeah, it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to do that. Uh, let us go for a stun. I think, on this Arc Demon. Let's see if I can get it. It's a 100% chance. There we go. If I Soul Burn. Okay, and I'm gonna go for a defense buff here. Arc Demon can't counter while she's stunned, so I'm gonna go for this. It's, a, it's safer, right? Defense buff, get a little healing on Aroz. And we get to go for another pushback here. Who don't want to push back? Uh, let's go for the... Arwell. Okay, very nice. We pushed the Landy forward. We're just taking extra turns here. I'm not gonna hit the Arc Demon just in case she uh, counters me. Right now, Destina can push with an S2, push the Arc Demon or the Stene. If Stene gets lucky, she can hit the Landy and probably finish me off. Okay, he's gonna push the Stene, he's gonna gamble here. One in three chance for him to hit the Landy. Does not hit Landy, thankfully. Uh, Arwell gets to go. She might strip the buffs off of SSB, and I'm gonna be very sad if she does. I, I do kind of want that speed buff on her, dang it. And she got, she got both strips, whoa! Okay, nice, we got a defense break on the Arc Demon though. Should be able to finish her off with uh, attack buff Landy. Okay, Ning Ning gets to go. Let's see if I can actually stun this Destina, right? Let's see if we can do it. There we go, very nice. Stunned her. And now SSB gets to take the turn. We're gonna slam the S3. Yeah, I think Ning Ning did pretty good work here. Two crucial stuns on the Arc Demon and on the Destina there. 
Uh, let me go for a dual attack. This pushes Landy up, right? Because Landy gets the dual attack here, and then I get to S3 yet again. And I think this should do it. Wow, very nice. Ningning also manipulating the combat readiness of the Landy throughout the match. Can't believe we actually forced her into the draft and it worked. <laughs> All right, cool. We got a Ningning match under our belt. I get to show you guys her build at the end of the video now. Uh, kind of excited. I basically took the gear that was on my flan, uh, my not my pirate captain flan, but like blue flan, right? Ice flan. Uh, she was geared with some of my fastest gear. Ever since I took Lydica off and put her on a DPS uh, set, uh, Flan got my fastest set of gear. Never used her because kind of regeared her right before Zio came out. Uh, but now Ningning has it just for the showcase, and um, <laughs> I'm kind of liking her. She's pretty fun. Look, DJB is getting banned, right? Hey, this guy might be in for a surprise because there's two barrier inversion units now. Straze getting banned. It's it's kind of uh, understandable because Straze is quite used quite often into ROL. So I think we still go for the Aras. He's uh, pretty decent, I would say. We're gonna save the Ningning pick, right? And we're gonna see what what else he goes for. Uh, what do I want to go for, though? It's a bit early, so I want to go for an ML unit, typically, uh, earlier in the draft. It's kind of tough, because you don't really know what to expect. Maybe Chloe could actually be pretty decent, though. Maybe I'm gonna go for a Maid Chloe here. Yeah, let's pick Maid. Now, Maid opens me up to Landy, opens me up to Rimuru, so I gotta keep in mind those units. I'm, I'm actually okay with a Rimuru, because I have a Raz to protect the unit in the back from a potential nuke, but Landy is going to be a different issue. But what this does is it forces my opponent to kind of pick some one of those RGB units, right? And if you force your opponent to pick an RGB unit early in the draft, it's going to be kind of tough for them later in draft, because you can always pick, last pick, like a fire unit or something, and they're going to have to ban that unit, right? If I pick Fire Robbie, my opponent's probably going to have to ban that here. Uh, but what I will do is not necessarily go for a pick like that now. Alencia seems pretty good here, right? Because we have uh, Landy, we have um, DN with all those buffs. I think Alencia is pretty decent. That's a pretty good pick. Now that opens me up to my opponent picking a fire unit. But would that be okay? We could also go Bellion. Right? Bellion to Landy is not the worst thing ever. Uh, if I go Bellion... Yeah, let's go Bellion. And I think we go Alencia. Do we go Alencia here? I think so. I think we go Alencia. Now, I don't know which of my units has the highest attack on the team. Hopefully it's Alencia or Bellion, <laughs> and not one of the other units, because Ningning does benefit the unit you know, on my team with the highest attack. Um, would be a little awkward if she pushed up a support unit. But we'll see, because the reason I'm uh, thinking about Ningning here is because ROL has barriers at the start of the match, and Dien also has barriers, right, uh, with her S2. Oh, this guy, go if he goes for Winter, I'm in a little bit of trouble. I might actually have to ban that Winter. Otherwise, I uh, don't think it's looking too good for me. Oh, Senya. Senya's okay. That's fine. We can deal with the Senya. She also puts barriers on the team, so maybe maybe this is a Ningning match. Maybe we can pull her off here. If I go Ningning, -ning, though, oh, Spectre into a Bellion. Okay, Rimuru. Right, so if I pick a fire unit, he just has to ban that, right? But if I pick Ningning, -ning, he doesn't necessarily have to ban it. Oh, I might be in trouble if I pick Ningning -ning here. I kind of just want to see what she does. So let's go Ningning. -ning. Okay, and I'm going to ban the Rimuru. Rimuru is pretty good into my team. So let's get rid of him. I'll deal with the rest. Aros has immunity for some of my units. Uh, May Chloe can cleanse once in a blue moon. Maybe we're okay. Oh shoot! And he bans the Ningning. -ning. Are you kidding me? We did this whole draft attempting to bait out a potential Ningning -ning play, and no, we're just going to be absolutely denied that opportunity. 
Do we keep Bellion alive or do we keep Alencia alive? We probably protect the Alencia, right? We'll do something like this, yeah? But put the Alencia in the back. I don't want her to go down too fast. Ah, oh, shoot. This guy, he uh, does not want to fight any barrier inversion. He pre-banned DJB, right? So uh, there's no surprising this guy here. Oh, this guy's Arwell. So people have been doing this. People have been resetting Arwell's skill tree and actually taking her off the barrier skill tree just so she can't get barrier inverted at the start of the match. I don't know how I feel about that. It's, um... I feel like this is the same type of player that would not fully awaken, uh, oh hang on, what do I want to do, Landy's gonna go, I'm going to defense break Senya, nope, no defense break on the Senya, alright, but what I did that for was to put the immunity on the Alencia, so that now, um, Landy doesn't get a full burst, but Senya also can't provoke me, right? Which is a good thing. Senya's gonna be pushed up there. Now, Arwal can stun, but Maid gets to cleanse if he stuns, right? I'm okay. I think I'm okay. I'm gonna stun the Alencia. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Resist? Okay, I'll take it. I did not get stunned there. It doesn't matter because Maid would cleanse either way, but that's fine. Oh, I, wait. Is my Alencia on 300% resist build and I forgot about it? Maybe. Maybe. This DN, though. I'm gonna just S1 here, hitting the Bellion. My Bellion's not countering. Uh, let us just go for... Do we go for the cleanse? Probably. He used all of his control skills, right, with Senya and stuff, so let's just go for this. I know that he can still provoke on counter with his Senya. And I don't know if my Alencia can actually strip this, because it seems to be a resist Senya. Might have a chance. If it's 150 resist, I can't do it. But, let's see. Okay. Uh, we weren't able to strip. We were able to strip the DN, though, surprisingly. So now let's go ahead and try to provoke this Landy, so she can't nuke my Alencia here. Bellion won't be provoked, because she has immunity. Alright, so let's see what happens. Dien does not have a cl Oh, wait, she- Huh? Oh, no, she does have a cleanse. That's right. It was the Arwell that didn't. That uh, gave the whole team a barrier at the start. Hey, wait, look! My Alencia de defense broke this uh, Senya, so... I guess it's fair, right? I 15% I of the stun and provoke, even though I had a cleanse that came up after it. Uh, but this guy 15%ed my strip, which is... It's gonna hurt me quite a bit. Uh, yeah, so what do I do? What do I do? I think I go for a full team defense buff. Let's protect that Bellion, right? And let's heal Aeroz just a tad bit here. I actually dealt quite a bit of damage to Senya. Quite nice. She is gonna get rid of her defense break though, which kind of sucks, but that's okay. Provoking the Bellion doesn't necessarily matter, but that dual attack did. That dual attack mattered. That extra chip damage on Bellion is probably gonna make the difference here. Yeah, that's gonna hurt quite a bit. Okay. Uh, Dien gets to go again. She's probably gonna chip away at somebody. I don't think Maid has the uh, healing capabilities for for this team right here. Uh, let's try to stun the Landy. Can we actually get it? Oh, we got it. Very nice. Bellion, though, going to attack there. Senya countering. That's okay. Guardian Ice Crystal's kicking in. Oh, Bellion actually, wait, wait a minute, that's pretty good, a little follow-up attack, I'll take it. Uh, I'm getting a lot of damage uh, sunken into me though right now. It kinda sucks, but let's try to hit this DN. No, she resisted the strip, interesting. Didn't resist my Alencia strip, but resist my Aeroz's strip, he has like 100 effectiveness, Alencia has none. Uh, I'm probably going to die from this Senya, that's the problem. He picked a ton of Earth units, right? So, I'm getting punished right now for uh, for this draft. Um, Senya has the counter buff and <laughs> will relentlessly provoke 
with my entire team. The end's healing is actually kind of annoying too. I, I drafted this team specifically to try to get Ning Ning through draft, and unfortunately my opponent just... I mean, he doesn't even have his Arwell, right? His Arwell isn't even on the barrier EE, or not EE, the uh, skill tree. So I don't know what he's too scared about. I know Dien has the barrier thing, but... Yeah, I would have loved to see uh, see her against this team. Oh, Bellion's gonna counter now and uh, probably hurt herself into oblivion into this Senya, so that's unfortunate. I guess I'll do this with Aeroz. Just I'm gonna end things on my own terms, right? Oh, actually, made made attack there. Whoa, that's a little strange. Yeah, Landy's just gonna full burst uh, my team, and it's pretty much over. So that's unfortunate. Wish he didn't ban the Ning Ning, man. <laughs> okay, come on, let's try one more match. Uh, I think we've lost two today. Yeah, we lost two today. No, wait, hang on. No, we won two, we lost two. Okay, no, but the first match I don't think we used Ning Ning in. Uh, oh, wait, no. No, we, we, only, we only play three. We only play three. That other, that other clip, actually, is the one that you guys would have seen yesterday in the summoning video that happened. So if you want to check out that Ning Ning clip, which by the way was really nice, uh, go ahead and uh, check out yesterday's summon video. It's at the end, right? I put a little preview clip at the end of the summon video for you guys. Uh, right, so let's go ahead and do this. Right, Lua, DJB. Okay, good. Another person who bans DJB and first picks Arl. Fantastic. So again, I want to pick Ning Ning, so I'm going to kind of lead the draft in a way that allows me to do it. Okay. Uh, Arl getting picked out. What do I want? I can't DJB this. Um, this is where I kind of wish I had ML Calric, but I don't, so I have to live with that. Do we go aggressive here? We could probably try to go aggressive. Nothing's stopping me from going a bit aggressive. Spectre, no, I don't think so. Um, what would allow me to go aggressive and push up my team? Nothing, right? I don't, I don't really think I have anything here. So let's go for let's go for Spectre. If my opponent goes Bellion, so be yeah. it, right? If my opponent goes Bellion, we'll deal with it. Oh, Lionheart. Ooh, Bellion. Wait a minute. That's interesting. Uh, was not expecting the Lionheart. Lionheart's okay though. I'm all right with that. Uh, I'm gonna go for. Ooh, this is a tough situation to be in. So the Bellion, Bellion Lionheart, is so it going all light units? I want to pick Ning Ning. Let's go into Bellion. And I guess Lionheart. I guess I shouldn't just force myself to ban the Lion or ban the Bellion. Let's go into Lionheart then. Yikes. This is uh this is not good. Is Winter good here? Wait a minute, Winter might be good. Yeah, let's go Winter. Uh, let's go, she's a thief, right? Let's go, yeah, let's go Winter. Winter's pretty good here. Oh, whoops, there's two units. Uh-oh. Uh, Soul Weaver. No. Ah, shoot. <laughs> I thought we were picking one unit. Uh-oh. Kisei, Kisei's not the pick. Um, Kisei is definitely not the pick. Actually, we can, we might be able to put Kisei to work here. Right? We might be able to. Do we go Ning Ning? I think we go Ning Ning. He has ML Calric. We go Ning Ning. And I ban Bellion. I ban Bellion. Yes. Okay. Right. So the Kisei pick is gonna hurt me quite a bit. Aroz is gone. But can we do this? Uh oh. Now that's not looking good. Without Aroz. Uh, this team is looking really flimsy. <laughs> That's not good. Alright. Ning gets to go. So do I bury invert here? Yeah, let's let's do it. Why not? Let's just bury invert. Let's just open up. Bury invert. Strip the buffs here. I think we can strip the stealth, right? There we go. And because I strip the stealth, I can go ahead and hit the landy. Let's try to push her back. 
Okay, there we go. Push Spectre of Tenebria up. Gave her an attack buff. Let's go ahead and reset this ML Calric. See if I can actually do it. If I can reset him, that'll be fantastic. Oh yes, we did! One turn reset. Okay. Now, the good thing is, Spectre's stealth. Uh, Arwo can only really hit Ningning, right? Yeah, there we go. So he can stun Ningning, and that's fine. She's kind of done her job. Right? She pushed back the Landy and everything. So I think we're good. Okay, she's stunned. Landy has a very thick barrier, so I'm assuming she's pretty squishy. Okay. We have an attack buff, so we're just trying to lay as much damage as we can into this. I know that the escort buff is still up. We kind of had a missed opportunity, right? It, yeah, if I soulbird into this, if Arwell didn't push herself up, we would have been in a good position. But that's okay. Let's go for the Lionheart Sermia. Let's stun her now. The Calric can uh, cleanse next turn, but that's okay, because that'll reset the winter. Oh, he resisted! Oh no. Everyone's stealth, and that's a bad thing. If Ningning goes down, that means we're screwed. We're screwed if Ningning goes down. Let's crit the Landy, please. No crit on the Landy, unfortunate. Uh, can I? Can I? I guess I just hit this, right? Let's go for some chip damage here. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I don't think we're going to be able to do this. Everyone's kind of back, though, in the combat readiness. Arwell goes next, so I think it's okay. Right, yeah, he puts a barrier on the team again. Ningning goes down. No barrier inversion anymore. He gets to hit anybody he wants, because everyone's stealthed. <laughs> but the good thing is, the Lionheart is not uh, ramped up. We didn't get any unlucky dual attacks yet. I think I have to go for this, right? I think I have to finish off the Landy, otherwise she screws me over. There we go, Soul Burn for some extra damage. Emil Calric, uh, if he S3s, Winter's gonna reset. Okay, he's not going to, he's just gonna bop the Kisei, I think. Okay. Can I stun the Arwell? Nope, no stun there, unfortunate, and so Kisei goes down. I think uh, Lion when Lionheart lets this rip, uh, he just needs to S1 here. When Lionheart lets this rip, we're, we're kind of dead, so... Unfortunate. Oh, does she do it? No, she doesn't, not enough damage. Oh, but... No way, no, she has to hit Winter. Winter's a bit bulky here. Yeah, I think we live. Okay, there we go. We do live. Uh, I have to try to stun here. Am I able to stun? Please. Ugh, no stun. Now Arwell can actually hit the Spectre. Oh, she has her S3 up too. Oh, that is so unfortunate. We got kind of unlucky in this match, but oh well. We had one good showcase, right? And it's uh... <laughs> the rest of these matches were kind of ripped. Oh, we had, we had fun, and we were able to try out a new unit. Uh, unfortunately, she was banned from that one match I really wanted to test her out in. Three losses, <laughs> one win. What a, what a great streak. Okay, so let us let me show you guys my build on her. Um, again, forcing these drafts, I'm not playing optimally, obviously. We're just trying to get Ningning Ning to work, so here she is. She's on almost 300 speed, got a ton of effectiveness uh, on her. She's on some of my fastest pieces of gear. I'm using Grace of Growth just to test her out. She's on her own artifact, so after using an on-attack skill, she gains combat readiness, kind of like Magarajas, and she removes souls. Kind of wanted to test her as an anti-cleave unit too, but it was a little... I mean, I think that one match with the guy with Zeo, right? I mean, that, that guy was going really aggressive, but he actually didn't really utilize souls if I remember correctly. Um, but yeah, with that being said guys, thank you so much for watching this video, I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, subscribe for more Epic 7 content, and leave a comment down below letting me know what I can do to improve. And until next time, take care.